Welcome back to the channel everyone, Davey Deathray here, and I am back with another trailer reaction. This one dropped yesterday and I completely missed it. Full disclosure, my wife and I have three lovely cats and we feed them a raw diet, which means we actually make their food. So last night was grind night and I wasn't able to hop in here and get this reaction done, but like MXPX says, don't hate me forever, I'm better late than never. This time around, we're taking a look at Todd Phillips' follow-up to 2019's Joker. Now, I took Spanish in high school, I didn't take French, so please excuse my pronunciation, but this one is called Joker Folie à deux. And that roughly translates to Madness of Two in English, so yeah, that makes sense, you know, Harley and Joker, it definitely is a madness of two. So let's jump right in and check this one out. Real quick before we get going, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of 2019's Joker and if you're looking forward to this one as well. And one more thing before we get started, guys. We just hit 500 subs here on the channel, which is massive for us. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's a small number, but thank you so much to our subscribers. All of you have made this channel what it is, and to all the content creators that have shouted us out during a live stream or a video, shared the channel on a post, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. It's really encouraging, and here we go. The road to 1,000 begins. All right, here we go. Let's go, boys. Show behind. Bakey, bakey. Eggs and bakey. Like you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole. Was it love at first sight? Is that what just happened to there? To balance the fractures within ourselves. Mm. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Let's get out of here been there. What the world now Okay. Is a lot sweet now. It's the only thing. Oh jeez. What's changed, Arthur? Oh, I love him. What's changed? We're not alone anymore. Steve Coogan or something? That's what we should be talking about. <laughs> More laughing, Arthur. It's like heartwarmingly creepy right there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, that whole like music angle, you know, about a week ago or so, there was a report that there was gonna be like 15 songs in the film. So um, that's something that's pretty interesting. I think it caused kind of a bit of a stir when it came out as far as people being like, how is this gonna work? Um, you know, the first film was so amazing and was just its wholly unique kind of approach at looking at that character of the Joker. Um, so yeah, this that line there that they say about, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but just something about how music, you know, kind of plays a role in like our subconscious and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I can certainly understand, I'm a huge music guy, so, um, you know, like Billy Loomis in Scream thinks about life as movies. I kind of think about, uh, you know, the perfect song for every moment in your life and all that kind of stuff. So, 
um, yeah, I can completely understand uh, where they're kind of taking this and good on them for hiring Lady Gaga. I mean, you know, she's proven herself as an actress in other films. I mean, most of the films have to do with music. Of course, there was A Star is Born with Bradley Cooper. And here it just seems like they're sort of leaning into not only the fact that she has the look um, of Harley, that she could pull off the look, um, but clearly you want to go for somebody that's extremely talented musically and vocally, right? If you're going to work this in. A great little scene there. It looks like Arthur is being chased by like rabid Joker fans that are dressed up as him from the previous movie. Love that uh, odd angled shot as he's getting dragged through the tunnel. There's some, you know, Todd Phillips has some really cool um, like horror elements, the way he approaches um, the shots. I mean, everything looks beautiful. It is composed so well within the camera. So his director of photography, uh, photography and him, you can tell they, you know, speak the same cinematic language. Uh, they know what they want from one another. They know how to communicate and bring it to the screen artistically. This shot here, um, must have taken some interesting like blocking and lining up so Joaquin knows exactly where to put his face to to where when he reaches that full smile that it looks like the makeup is actually on his face that's wild and then also the lighting there um, his eyes kind of get darker underneath which is um, you know just shows you more attention to detail that they've got there um, let's run it through another time and take a look at it again uh, Joaquin physically really brings so much to the role here um, you know, sacrificing quite a bit to maintain that like extremely gaunt look. Um, you know, Joker doesn't quite look right. And um, I think that they've got, when I say he doesn't quite look right, I mean, as far as like in the real world, you'd look at that person and you'd think, oh my gosh, that person is sick. Um, but it's it fits this world so well. Um, who knows if they're gonna tie in any of like the Wayne stuff, the way they just sort of dipped their toe in it in the first Joker film, they had a little bit in there, but this looks like it could just be its own animal with Harley and Joker experiencing that combined shared madness that they've got. That shot there of the spotlight, uh, I mean, this looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if I really need to see more as far as like what the story would be and I can understand why people would be put off at uh, 15 songs, like, you know, new arrangements of 15 songs being brought to this film. But let's not be so quick to judge, right? Because the first film broke all sorts of new ground. Um, you know, I mean, it brought in feelings of like older 70s films and all that kind of stuff. Like it definitely had that gritty feel to it. But I, you know, if you've been following the channel, I really like when filmmakers take chances. So I don't want to see a Joker film following up 2019's Joker that's the same thing or just a straight continuation. I do like this idea of them sort of diving in to the madness a little bit, um, you know, not really knowing what's real and what isn't, which was a big theme in the first Joker film. Uh, I think the audience is kind of left wondering what the hell's going on. Uh, that shot of Arthur cry or like laugh crying in the rain, um, man, that his laugh is so off-putting from that first film. So it'll be great to see all these characteristics carry over. Gosh, it's been five years and it doesn't seem like it. It seems like they just jumped right in and, uh, and put this one together um, right after finishing the last one. So I'm really excited for this one. I don't think I need another trailer. I know they call this a teaser, but I mean, it's two minutes, 20 seconds or something like that. So you know, is it really that much of a tease? I think we kind of get what we need to get from this film. I like for there to be surprises when I go to the theater. I don't want everything, you know, mapped out in front of me. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do here and seeing where they take it. But what about you guys? Let me know in the comments section below if you're looking forward to this film. Um, if you're not quite sure, if you want to see more, I'm interested to get that conversation going with y'all and see what you guys think. And let me know what you thought of 2019's Joker as well, if that was a movie that, you know, convinced you that this was a, a cool route to take. I think, you know, DC, for a little bit there with their main line, they were just kind of trying to... 
uh, copy what Marvel did and also like accelerate the the speed at which they went, which sort of made the wheels kind of fall off on uh, Zack Snyder's universe. Um, so I do like that with things like the Batman and Joker uh, and uh, Foley Adu, <laughs> I do like that they're taking some chances here and that we're kind of seeing like an other world. I think that's the perfect thing to do with comic book movies. Like, you know, because if you're a fan of comics, you know that, yeah, they're the mainline comics, but then you have these offshoot kind of like one offs. And why not dip into that in the film world? I think it keeps things interesting, um, not only for the comic book fans that know the material and love it so much, but also for general audiences that are tired of seeing the same characters brought back the same kind of way. So I'm really looking forward to this. Let me know in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. We've crushed the road to 500 and it's on to 1000 here. So yeah, until next time guys, I've been and will continue to be Davey Deathray. Take care.